Welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering, playing some more Popper. This time around, we're playing Infect in Popper, one of uh, one of my favorites. We're playing the Infector deck again. Uh, no changes since last time. Don't really know if there is anything to really change out. One of these days, I need to try Simic. I need to try Blue, Green, Infect, but that's not today. Today, we're still on the Mono Green Infect rail. So what is going on in this deck, if you don't know? Infect is a type of damage you can deal to a target if your creature's an Infect. Uh, the, they deal infect damage rather than battle damage, which is in terms of negative one, negative one counters in creature battle. But if you hit them with infect, you only need 10 infect damage to win the game. So the idea is we're playing a ton of pump spells to try and hit 10 as fast as possible. So forced, uh, land wise, forced, we have 10 forest, <laughs> four hickory woodlots, which enters the battlefield tapped with two depletion counters on it. Tap it to remove a depletion counter. Adds two green sources to your mana pool. Two uh, Kalani Gardens, which is to help with cards like Chainer's Edict or Sudden Edict or what, what was the other one? Diabolic Edict. There's another like instant speed edict effect on Popper. And then three Tranquil Thickets to uh, cycle lands or if land we need it. So we have our Infect Creatures. We have four Glistener Elves, which is a one drop, one one Infector. We have four Icker Claw Mirrors, which is a one drop, I mean two drop colorless, one one artifact creature with infect that whenever it becomes blocked, it gets plus two, plus two to end a turn. And then our last suite of infectors, Blight Mamba, which is a uh, two drop, one colorless, one green, uh, one one infector with tap two, one colorless, one green, regenerate it. So that's our infect creatures. How do we pump it? Well, we have a creature called Lanor Augur, which is a zero three elf that uh, is a one drop that you sacrifice it during your upkeep target creature gets plus three plus three and gains trample till the end of turn we have four mutagenic growths we have four ground swells which is a target creature gets plus two plus two and then unless it has a landfall if a land in the battlefield it gets plus four plus four down in turn pretty good massive might gives target creature plus two plus two and gains trample to the end of turn might of the Old Crosa gives target creature plus two, plus two, unless you cast it in your main phase, which it gives it plus four, plus four. Raincor gives, uh, is an enchantment that gives target creature plus two, plus zero, and has trample. Snakeskin Veil is a, gives target creature a plus one, plus one counter and gains hexproof to the end of turn. Vines of Vastwood is a one drop that target creature gains hexproof to the end of turn. If it was kicked with a kicker cost of one, it gains plus four, plus four to the end of turn. And then our last card is Apostle's Blessing, which is a artifact, I mean, a Phyrexian mana, a target artifact or creature you control gains protection from artifacts or from the color of choice until end of turn. So it can be a protection spell or it can be a, hey, you can't block this card spell. Sideboard wise, we have more protection stuff with two extra copies of Apostle Blessing and two extra copies of Snakeskin Veil. We have a copy of Spider Umbra to help with Reach. Um, it's also a Toter armor, armor. We have two Epic Confrontations because artifacts deal damage in negative one, negative one counters. Target, uh, your creature gets plus two, plus one, plus two to end a turn and fights a creature you don't control. So potentially killing off a creature and pumping ours at the same time. Three Return to Natures to deal with artifacts or enchantments or potentially something in the graveyard. Three Weather the Storms for burn and a Pulse of Marassa for burn and for heavy removal decks and an extra Kalani Gardens for those Chainer Edict matchups. So that is our deck with Infect. Let's get into a game. All right, let's see what our opening hand beholds us here. Uh, so we have no Infector, so it's a mulligan. It's a mulligan. Sometimes you have to mulligan a ton with this deck. Other times you just have a hot seven and then you kill them on turn three or turn four. But yeah, this isn't going to do it. This is another mulligan. We'll go to five. Can't mulligan too much or else your plan doesn't work anymore. But all right, keep uh, one, two, three. Not the best. They're going to play a forest and play. Are we playing against Boggles again? Is there like a Boggles resurgence going on that we don't know about? Because we just played against Boggles. Oh, they chose red. Hmm. 
This could be Ponza. Things that make you go. <laughs> Which, if that's the case, we're in trouble. I mean, anytime you mulligan to four with a deck that doesn't mulligan very well, you're you're probably in trouble. <laughs> but we're gonna give you the old college effort here in a second. Um, Vines of Asswood's nice to keep up. I was debating on if I should might have Ocarosa there or not. <sighs> I think we just leave cards up. They go to Ponza us here. We just take it, I guess. I don't know. That's totally what's going to happen, ain't it? No. Packmate. Interesting. Let's get a third land. Land. Thanksgiving Bill is not bad, though. Though it doesn't give it Trample, which is pretty obnoxious. They're probably a dungeon crawling deck, I would assume. Yup. Well, that's cool. We're going to take that from them. I think the inner battlefield tapped on it. No, reveal it, put it in your hand and shuffle. They get a forest. I think they played a land this turn, though. I guess we're not going to take it from them quite yet, are we? Let's just go to game two. That was that was a such a, an embarrassing punt. Real talk, you gotta be ashamed of yourself. All that you is. Uh, I think Return of Nature is worth bringing in. I think the other snakeskin veils are. I don't think Pulsa Marassa necessarily is. I definitely think Apostle's Blessing is though, to try to punch through. I think we can get rid of the augers. Let's get rid of Massive Might. I mean, there's an argument because Return of Nature kills our Utopia Sprawl, but. Is it a good enough argument, you know? Probably. Probably is a good enough argument. Get rid of two mutagenic growths. I think most of their removal is going to deal with mutagenic growth pretty nicely. <laughs> this is a good hand if we draw another land, so I'm going to keep it. The game one was an embarrassing game, though. <laughs> I gotta admit, that was not a good... That was not a good game. Yeah, we draw a land, I'll, I'll feel a lot better about this. But we really need to draw a land here. We draw land. We can deal with. Uh, <laughs> we can deal with uh, what's its face really nicely. The uh, Utopia Sprawl, <laughs> just to slow him down a little bit. Gonna lead on Glistener Elf, Arbor Elf. Yeah, Arbor Elf's definitely annoying. Land. Well, poop. Arbor Elf wasn't as annoying as I thought, because I thought they would Utopia Sprawl there. Uh, Hickory Woodlot is a card that exists, I suppose. Do it. Fog me. That'd be hilarious. Do it. <laughs> Tangle. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Good sideboard. Good sideboard. There's Jewel Thief. Yeah, would have liked for something else, but is what it is. No Utopia Sprawl shown up yet, which is super upsetting considering how many Return of Natures we brought in. Yep, that's pretty annoying. So it is definitely Ponza, which is a super frustrating deck. I don't imagine they attack here. Be a little silly. Land? <laughs> no. Why would it be, right? And then they play Avenging Hunter and we just scoop. Nope, not this turn. Well, I guess they could. It's a five drop, ain't it? 
That's super annoying. No, I can't get any lands? Okay, yeah, that's cool. Thanks, deck. Thanks, deck. This was a fun day of magic. Can you taste the salt? Am I raising your cholesterol? Sometimes magic is just bullshit. Alright. <laughs> that. Ponza's not a fun deck. If you play Ponza, you just hate people. Which is fine. I play 8 rack in modern, so I get it. Um, yeah, I mean, when you get no land and they destroy land or you just really screw up game one, you're not going to win. That's the way it goes sometimes. You know what I mean? That's just the, the way she goes sometimes. But, uh, yeah, that, that sucked. This is shit. Well, this is shit.